I just want to invest in people that really want to be the best that they can be. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Todd Screaming. I got the lovely Robin Lavasser and Jim Reed, and we're doing a short podcast to our realtor partners, insurance partners. All, we call them affiliates, right? People that support our business. So thank you for everything that you're doing. The topic today is, and this is Robin's topic, it's like, why real estate? And I'm just going to hand it to her because I don't really know what the topic's about. <laughs> Good. Look at how much trust these boys have. I'm going to wing it. Okay. Here's, here was my big aha. I, you know, it, it, we're all able to go and teach um, around the country, which I'm always very honored to do. And recently I uh, have taught in a couple different cities in rooms of at least 50 realtors, right? And one of the things that I always start with is why real estate? And the hands go up and you call in some people and the response is always a little shocking to me even though it's almost always the same. So I'm not sure why I'm surprised. Literally one gal, and these are not, listen, this is, I, this is, there, there's no shame in this. I'm not, I'm not putting anybody down. I'm giving an example. You'll see the lesson in it. Well, I've got eight kids and it uh, gives me freedom. Huh? That's, that's a, no, that's a legitimate response. Hey, I, you know what? I have another job and it lets me do both. I, I like to make my own schedule. I love houses. Now that's about as close as it gets, uh, the I love houses. And, and then I stand there and I said, okay, give me a minute, you guys. I just got to your town. I love the area. I realized, and I called my husband last night and said, we should invest here. We're going to buy some rentals or get an Airbnb or buy a second home, possibly even a primary residence. Which one of you real estate agents that raised their hand and spoke out loud, am I hiring? And the answer for all of them even was none. I think that one of the things that gets no. lost in sales in general, and you talked about insurance and in real estate and all of these things, and, and for some reason that the tides have turned, if you will, and, and people say, oh, I got into uh, make a ton of money, have a bunch of freedom, have a bunch of flexibility. And the biggest issue with that is it's not that those reasons and what works for your life don't matter. It's that none of them are focused on an actual client. None of them are talking about what value you bring and why you literally enjoy changing people's lives. And, and so one of the things that we talk about in that room is, hey, raise your hand if you really believe after that conversation that buying a piece of real estate is the fastest way to start building wealth in America. You said I buying, believe that's buying true. is the fastest way to build wealth in America. Yes. Got it. Owning, owning, some yeah. owning land, owning, owning real estate. Is that a fair statement, Jimmy? Rich people acquire real estate and poor people sell it. Yeah. It's a so acquiring real estate, knowing that, why isn't anybody's response about providing that service to other people? Why is it about flexibility, working two jobs? And so I, I guess the point is in sales in general, there is a there is a space where we cannibalize one another, if you will, right? We forget what our value is. We forget why we're doing things mm -hmm. and we make it seem like it's easy, maybe a side gig. Maybe we're not all into it. And that's when people start attacking what? Oh, no. Your price. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, but like there goes all the thing that's sticking out of me and I'll, I'm going to shut up in a second is no jump your in. answer. And this is for most salespeople. Salespeople are slightly selfish people. Yeah. And so their answer is always about them. Yes. And that's what you're saying. At least that's where I'm here. Yes. 100%. Yeah. And, and what a difference it makes. Imagine if you met somebody and said, why'd you choose real estate? And they have no clue. And, and this, is how, this is how much we don't think about this. And none of them are wrong. And I guarantee you some of them are absolutely amazing realtors, regardless of the response. But they didn't show it in that minute. And I think one of the things that people need to realize when they're in sales is every day, every interaction, everything we do potentially leads to an opportunity to help somebody. Mm -hmm. But you have to be clear on why you're doing it and what your value is in order to present that way. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we say things like, I like to work two jobs. Am I calling you to invest in five homes in this community? You know, you know what else, Robin? Like they go, well, Robin, I wouldn't have said that to a client. Right, that's what they say when you when we're when you're when you're teaching this topic. Yes. Like I, I didn't know what you were going to talk about, so I'm now I'm getting all excited. Right, 
So what they miss is, and this is for everybody, is what they miss is it comes out. Like your real answer, the one you gave that you said you wouldn't tell a client, they see it and feel it and they just, they don't know how they see it or feel it, but it comes out. It's like, it's kind of like if you drank the night before and you go to the gym the next morning, it comes out, yeah. right? It comes out of you. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to, you know, but, no. let, me, let me say it a different way, Robin. You, it's kind of a paradox because you're right that about 3% of Americans work on hundred percent commission sales. That's it. Okay. So you got 3%. So the people that are attracted, including us on this call, was we were greedy. We wanted to make two, two, 200,000, 500,000, 2 million, right? We, we were greedy. But greedy people who are selfish by nature, which is all of us, struggle to put the client first. Wow. It's a different way of saying the same thing. That It's like Jim and I worked years ago at the grocery store. I remember when I worked for that grocery store, I wanted to be the best bagger they had. So I sprinted after the carts, right? I wanted to impress my boss. That was my client. Every client, every client who came through the register, I would have clients to say, oh, let's go to Todd's line because I would always chat with them. I always, I didn't ask them if they wanted help out. I just started walking with the cart. Yes. Because right? I'm in, that's my client in front of me. So the transition to me is, is how do you, hey, they come first so that I can get what I want. And it's hard to think that Zig way Ziggler. as a individual that is self motive selfish Zig motivated. Dude, that's Zig Ziglar. You guys know what that quote is? Huh? Zig Ziglar. The famous quote. Zig Ziglar. The, the, the more I help people get what they want, the more I'll get what I want. Hmm. Zig Ziglar. Yeah. I that's not a gym quote. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but it's not like that. No, but the opposite does not work is what we're saying. Oh. You can't. <laughs> I'm gonna get what I want and then help people. The beating, it beating doesn't ever work. Morale improves. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, I just think you need to know why you're in the business, what you are providing to other people, and you all every single day, you know, you you have to you have to exude what. Like, I don't believe that you are. Hey, let's turn it on at work and then not be there, if you will. Like we are who we are and people are going to, especially when you're the product you're selling. And I think that sometimes real estate, lending, insurance, they don't realize you yourself are the product. So be the product, right? Could you imagine being a product that's half rotten on the shelf? Nobody's picking up that vegetable, right? Like nobody's picking that up today. Like it's a, it's an important piece that if you're the product, then every day, now go vacation, do all those other things. Like let's not get lost in it, but be the product. And and even in those moments of why real estate, those types of things, people want flexibility, freedom, and financial. When they achieve the financial, for sure, they have found structure around the flexibility and the freedom, for sure. And if you're only in it for flexibility and freedom, you're never going to gain the financial. So give me an example of when you do this class, right? Because I've never seen uh -huh. you do that part. Um, like... Give me an example of what the correct response is and how it would benefit them. Yeah, What's I the think the correct response that they should say, I, and then how does it benefit them? I, and I know we kind of touched on it through this whole call, but just to kind of summarize it succinctly. Yeah, through, to help people achieve wealth through buying and selling real estate. Like when I think about why real estate, the, imagine that the, the achieve wealth is the one that gets them to lean forward, right? Yes. The achieve well, or, you know, somebody was, somebody said the, the other question that I often ask is what do you bring in value to your business? What do you personally bring in value? And it's funny, again, people are very unclear on their value. They say all sorts of things like I'm accessible. I communicate one person in the room, Jim, one raise their hand. Bold as can be very strong and literally said, I'm an expert negotiator. Which one, if I was really buying yeah, real estate in that sure. community, which one am I going to be with? Yep. 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 I want you guys are talking about my to sell my house for the highest price. I want to buy a house for the lowest price, if you will, or figure out how to qualify amidst the market conditions. And one person in the room said expert negotiator. I don't need someone who likes houses. I don't need someone who opens doors. I want somebody who knows and understands their skill. That's what I'm going to hire for. And I think that, I think we, we, we get, fearful, if you will. And Todd, you know, I was the guiltiest of all in the buddy cell. 
people like me, so they'll use me. And yes, that works to a certain point, but taking your business to another level means that you understand and show up with the value that the consumer needs. That's good stuff. Mm. Give me this wiggles over here. That's good stuff. Like, uh, you know, I I just want to say this, like you're a realtor, you're listening to this. We're not trying to tell you how to be a realtor. We're trying to tell you like we're learning together how to be better business people. Yes. That's cool. How we all grow. How we all grow, right, make more money, right? do, do well. If you're going to spend 50 hours a week doing something, let's get better at it. Yep. Well, guys, this is great. Rob and Jim, thank you very much. Realtors and all the affiliates out there, thank you guys so much. I, I know the, the market's crazy. We're, we're coming at you trying to be transparent, trying to give you some things to think about, a couple tactics as you go through this. I don't know about you guys. I'm, I love podcasts. I think it's a great way to start the day. I think it's great to listen to when you're working out. And it, and it gives you strategic thought. It gives yes. you one little tactic, like I'm going to take that into my business. Maybe you were listening to Robert Light. Now you're like, why am I in real estate? What what What's in it for the client? Maybe that's all you got. And you wrote it down on a sticky sticky note and you kept it in front of your, uh, in front of your, your computer here so that you're staring at it every day. So when I'm talking to a client, I know why I'm doing what I'm doing yeah. for them, not for me. My needs will come second not first. And that's the big idea. So keep sending us all your loans. We really appreciate it. We love 80% of our loans come from realtors and home builders. So we appreciate you guys. Keep it coming. We'll get through all this craziness and take these little tidbits and put some to work. Thanks guys. Have a great month. Bye.